this month's TV 47 Star Student of the Month from Lincoln Elementary School. Hey, we welcome Madison Shannon this morning, our Star Student of the Month. Madison, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being with us this morning. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Madison. I am a fifth grade student in Miss George's class at Lincoln Elementary. I play softball. Um, I'm originally from Lincoln. I'm 11 years old. Who's your parents? Savannah Daniels and Wesley Daniels. Okay, you got any brothers and sisters? Adam Daniels and Charlie Shannon. Are they older? They're not? Okay, so are you the boss of the group? Okay. Uh, tell us a little bit about going to Lincoln Elementary and what's so special about going to school there for you. It's really fun there. Like, there's like a lot of activities we do in one class. When it's in fifth grade, we switch classes with another teacher and it's really like fun. And like, we have like everything, like almost everything is like fun. Cause you have to, you get to do like science and stuff mm -hmm. and you get to like blow stuff up. It's just like fun about fifth grade right now. Oh yeah. Uh, who are some of the people in the school other than your, your teacher that's made an impact in your life there? Uh. Miss Hill, she's mm -hmm. like our technology person. Mm -hmm. She has helped me a lot. Miss Woodruff, our librarian. Um, Do you like to read? It depends yeah. on like what I'm yeah, reading. Yeah. What do you like to read? Um, my favorite book is Wonder. Mm -hmm. What's that about? It's about this boy who had a tumor when he was a baby and when he was born. Mm -hmm. and his face is all messed up and he's going to this like new school, public school. And um, his sister Via is older than him. Mm -hmm. And so she's like protecting him. And then he meets the new friend Jack. And Jack goes behind his back talking about how bad his face looks mm -hmm. because of his tumor. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, Jack stands up for him. That's good. That's a, that's a full circle right there. That's a good deal. Uh, now, you mentioned your parents. Where do they work? Uh, my mom's a dental hygienist, and my dad works at CBRE. All right. Now, uh, remember back, uh, you're 11 years old now, and uh, if I told you how old I was, you would be shocked. But when you were little, what are some of the stuff you remember about being little? Um... I remember this one time I was eating spaghetti and I fell asleep and I, my face fell oh, into the spaghetti. Picture that, right? <laughs> uh, did you awake and finish eating? You don't know? Okay. Now, uh, you were what? A year old or so then, maybe? <laughs> uh, uh, who has been that go-to person that's really influenced your life? Somebody's been a strong influence in your life? Mm -hmm. okay. I'd say Miss Carly. Okay. Uh, why is that? Because, like, she has helped me through, like, a lot of stuff, through, like, homework. And she has helped me, like, figure out what I want to do when I grow mm -hmm. up. And she's helped me with a lot of that stuff. That's good. Some of your favorite subjects in school? Math. Okay. Science and reading. Okay. Uh, is math and science neck and neck there, or are you, like, math best? Uh, depends on like what kind of math and what kind of science we're yeah, doing. Yeah. Now you got you like some of those science projects, don't you? Yeah. Tell me one of the favorites you got. You like? We mixed um, sodium chloride and uh, it's like acid rain little beads mm -hmm. together, and it like made the water turn warm. It was really cool. Uh, favorite food? Don't say spaghetti. <laughs> like favorite like meal meal or like favorite like favorite snack favorite food period favorite food ice cream ice cream what flavor strawberry okay mm. what brand don't matter bluebell there you go that's a good answer since bluebell's right here in Silicaga. that's a good thing uh, school's almost over for the year Looking forward to the uh, summer. Got spring break next week. 
Where are you going to be doing the spring break? We're going down to Florida to visit my grandparents. All right. I know you look forward to that. Yeah. There's an old song that says, going down to Florida to get a little sand in my shoes. You don't remember that song, do you? Uh, you go to church anywhere? We go to Hope. Okay. And sometimes we go to Eureka Baptist. Is that it? Uh, Hope, is that it? Lincoln? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now, who are some friends of yours in school? Katie, Bailey, Maddie, Riley, and Zoe. Okay. Now, you like to play softball? Mm -hmm. What position do you play? Uh, like, sometimes my coach moves me around, but like right now I play right field. Okay. Can you swing the bat? Mm-hmm. Okay. Can you catch it? Mm-hmm. Okay. You, you want to keep playing softball, you think? Okay. What else do you do? Oh, not yesterday, but Saturday, mm -hmm. we won the softball championship, Yay. and we all got golden rings. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Can I hold it a minute? Wow. Now, tell us about that. It was like... Hold it up and let them see it. Hold it right there. All right, tell them about it. Um, so Saturday, we came off of like our third game, and we were going into the championship, and our coach told us that we were playing back-to-back. -back. It's been back-to-back -back for about two games. And so everybody was excited because we were going into the championship. And like at like the last like three minutes, they they were down by two, three points. And like they we uh, Ruthie, she's on my team. She got the last ball, mm -hmm. and we won the championship. And there, there was so much screaming. I bet. I bet you were one of the ones screaming too, weren't you? What about mom? No, she didn't even come into the field. You're kidding me. Well, she got the championship ring to prove that you did it, all right? Uh, speaking of your mom, you and her have a, a great relationship. Talk about that. Mm -hmm. We have a good relationship. I know I can count on her whenever I am, like, busy with something. And, like, I know she can, like, do something for me if mm -hmm. I'm, like, down. Mm -hmm. Does she ever say... Uh, Madison, let's go shopping. Yes, a lot. Does that fire you up? Okay. But half the time I don't get anything. <laughs> the other half you do though, right? That's, that's pretty good. Uh, what do you want to do when you grow up, Madison? I want to be an entrepreneur or a marine biologist. You want to be what? An entrepreneur wow. or a marine biologist. I hadn't heard entrepreneur in so long, it shocked me. What about a uh, marine biologist? Uh, like, I want to be a marine biologist because I love, like, being in the water and being with, like, animals. My favorite animal has been a dolphin for, like, really long really? time. All right. Do you ever go to places where they have dolphins on display? Um, sometimes. Like, we went on this cruise, like, a long, long time ago mm -hmm. when my brother wasn't even born yet, and we saw a lot, of, we saw, like, one or two dolphins. Uh -huh. Do you remember when your uh, your brothers were born? Yes. Yeah. Tell me about that. It was crazy because like <laughs> he had something wrong to where he could barely breathe and they had Goodness. to switch hospitals. And my mom was gone for a long time and we had to stay with our grandparents. Yeah. But everything's okay now? That's fantastic. You love staying with your grandparents? That's why you're going to Florida, right? Okay. Uh, Madison Shannon, who is a uh, fifth grader, 11-year-old at Lincoln Elementary School. Now, I say the easiest for last, okay? If you could go anywhere in the world with all expenses paid, where would it be? California. California. Why California? Because, like, it's like L.A. and Hollywood, and I, like, really want to visit those places. Well, if you're going to be an entrepreneur, that's a good place to start, too. <laughs> Uh, Madison Shannon, our star student of the month. Madison, thank you for coming today. Thank you. Hope you have a fantastic day and enjoy your spring break next week. Okay? Okay. More day break right after this. This star student of the month was brought to you by TV 47. Tune in to Daybreak Weekdays at 6.30 a.m. for your star student of the month.